students from Landon. Washington Latin Public Charter. And Northwest High School meet today on It's Academic. Hello, everybody, and welcome to It's Academic, now in its 61st season, thanks to title sponsor David M. Rubenstein, encouraging you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. And thanks to platinum sponsor MITRE. MITRE is a bridge and convener of government, industry, and academia, bringing together the whole of nation to tackle some of the biggest challenges of the 21st century. Well, it is time to meet the teams, and we begin with the Landon School from Bethesda, Maryland. Hello, Jeff. How you doing? Hello, Haley. Uh, I'm a senior from Vietnam, uh, and I am a professional procrastinator. <laughs> and uh, joining me today is George, who is a senior, and Thomas, who is a sophomore. All right. Well, it's great to see all of you guys. And uh, Jeff, let's start with something special about you besides being a professional procrastinator. Uh, besides academic, I play the guitar on my spare time, and now I'm a I am a terrible singer. <laughs> okay, then. That could be fun as well. Hi, you, yeah. George. Good to see you. Hi, uh, it's great to be here. I'm George. I'm a senior at Landon. Uh, I am a clarinet and saxophone player, as well as president of the Landon Grammar Club. I love that grammar club stuff. You know, most people don't even know what grammar is anymore. They're like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> and uh, I'd like to thank Tanyara Chambers for being our coach, been our coach at our school for many years, and she always does a great job. Beautiful, we'll meet her later. Thomas, what should we know about you? Hello, uh, I'm Thomas Shelton. I'm a 15 year old sophomore from Landon and I am the lead singer and guitarist of a band I'm in. Oh, and I'd like to nice. thank the rest of our It's Academic crew for supporting us. Beautiful, what's the name of your band? Uh, Django, but it's not, it, it, it can go back and forth. <laughs> okay then, well. Let's go back to questions or begin the questions. Here's your opening round. In the opening round, as you undoubtedly know, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. Here's the first question, Landon. Stop serpent agony. Hidden in this painful phrase is the name of what building that houses the Defense Department? Comparing Pentagon, right? Pentagon. Yep. Uh, Pentagon, final answer. Pentagon it is. A female sheep, a common pronoun. Here you have definitions for what two homonyms, words that sound alike but are spelled differently. Confer. You. You. Uh, you. Uh, you, final answer. You, yeah. Auto reply from Mr. Hottie. <laughs> away, giving fire to get mankind. You might have gotten this away message from what mythical character who gave fire to mankind and was chained to a rock as punishment. Prometheus. Prometheus? Yeah. yeah, Prometheus, final answer. Poor Prometheus, yes. Calcium, cesium, argon. Which of these chemical elements exists as a gas under standard conditions? Oh, comparing Confer argon? Right? Yeah, argon. Um, argon, final answer. Yeah. How can anyone govern a nation that has 246 different kinds of... You can complete these despairing words from one president of France by adding what type of food, such as brie or cheddar. Conferring cheese. Yeah. Cheese. Yep. Yep. Final answer. Please. Yes, it is. Very nicely done, Landon. You've got 200 points. Let's meet team two from Washington, D.C.'s Washington Latin Public Charter. Uh, Cooper, you're the captain. Tell us about who you are and the team. Um, I'm a junior this year at Washington Latin, um, and I'm here with my teammates, Miles Pulford and Dylan Bagley. All right. Great to see you guys. And why don't you tell us something else about yourself that nobody knows, Cooper? Nobody knows. Um, I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, all right. Sagittarius are cool. What else? One more thing? One more thing. Um, I row crew. Oh, nice. Crew is awesome. I was sculling for some years. Loved it. Okay. Dylan, what's up with you? Tell us something unique about yourself. Um, I'm a senior this year at Washington Lat and um, I enjoy skateboarding. And I'd like to take this time to thank our courageous and coordinated coach, Ms. Colt. <laughs> I like that. Do you do lots of tricks on your skateboard? A few. I'm working All on it. Right. All right, cool. Miles, how about you? Um, hi, I'm Miles. I'm a senior at Washington Latin this year. Um, and some 
things about me are I play the trumpet and I like hiking and rock climbing. Me too, but I don't play the trumpet. What do you like to play? Um, I play in the jazz band at school. Nice. Who's your favorite trumpeter? Uh, Dizzy Gillespie. Dizzy, yeah. Okay, guys, let's do this opening round. Here's your first question. Please stay and see if you can find in this sentence the name of what long river that flows through Egypt? Uh, oh, the Nile. It would be the Nile, I think. Is that final uh, answer? Final answer, Nile. Yeah. Ground wheat for baking, a blossom. Here you have clues to two homonyms, words that sound alike but are spelled differently. Name either, please. A uh, flower, right? Flower. I think, yeah, final answer, flower. Sorry. Flower is correct. Go on, Miles. <laughs> oink, oink .com. Back in mythical times, this might have been a website for what sorceress from the Odyssey who turned men into swine? Circe. Circe. Finally, Circe. 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 It yeah. is. Clavicle, carotid, trapezius. The human body has a lot of muscles, bones, and blood vessels. Of these three choices, which is a bone? Uh, the clavicle. I think it would be the clavicle, Finally, yeah. The clavicle. It is the clavicle, yeah. Give me where to stand and I will move the... To Whoa. complete Archimedes' statement referring to the power of the lever, add the name of what planet third from the sun? It would be the Earth. Earth? Yeah. Final answer, Earth. Yes, it's our beautiful little blue marble earth. Well done, Washington Latin, 200 points. Team three is from Germantown, Maryland. Gray, why don't you introduce us to them and uh, yourself, of course. Um, hi, I'm Gray. This is Anika and Jonah. Uh, I'm a junior at Northwest High School. I run for the uh, high school track team. We have our regionals meet coming up uh, on Friday. And I'd just like to thank our terrific coach, Mr. Beleza. Awesome, and you like football too, don't you? Yes, I do. Huge Notre Dame fan. Yeah, what's that behind you? This is a, uh, it's a jersey of Joe Montana. And you have a... A signature, yes. A, a signature, that mm -hmm. is amazing. Very cool. Hiya, Anika, what should we know about you? Anika, so sorry. Um, hi, I'm Anika. I'm a 16-year-old junior at Northwest High School. I play tennis for our school, and I'd like to give a shout out to my brother. It's his birthday today, so oh, yeah. How old? Um, he's turning 24. Oh, wow. Well, hello, brother, turning 24. <laughs> Great to have you, Anika. And finally, Jonah with the very professional setup. Hi, I'm Jonah. I'm a 16-year-old junior at Northwest High School, and I'm a proud member of my local Boy Scout troop, Troop 1094. And I would like to thank our Northwest High School administration. Great. What level are you? I'm currently a Life Scout. Nice. Congratulations on that. And now we begin. Here's your first question for the opening round, Northwest. Study this phrase and you'll find the hidden name of what man who was the first to sign the Declaration of Independence. Conferring, that would be Hancock. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, final answer, Hancock. Yes. Caustic potash, a fib. These clues should help you identify what two words that sound the same but are spelled differently. Conferring a lie? Do you guys know what caustic potash is? Um, I'm not entirely sure on that. Nika? I'm not sure. Okay. Um, final answer, a lie. Yeah, that's it. Needs salt. This might have been a tweet from what Cyclops, who imprisoned the crew of Odysseus in a cave and ate them two at a time. Conferring, uh, uh, Anika, do you know? I'm not sure about this one. Um, the answer is polyphemus, boron, bismuth, bromine. Which one of these elements belongs to the halogen family? Conferring boron. Um, I'm not super familiar with the classifications, but I will go final answer boron. It was bromine. You were close. An appeaser feeds a blank, hoping it will eat him last. To complete these words by Winston Churchill, add what dangerous reptile similar to a caiman or alligator? Conferring crocodile? I think so. Yeah. 
Yeah, the answer is crocodile. Well done, Northwest. You've got 160 points. Picture perfect round next, so stay where you are. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. It's time for the picture perfect round. And in this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down, 10 points off if you don't answer. Landon, here's your first question. This field is located in what Canadian province whose name begins and ends with the letter A? Oh, uh, conferring Alberta, right? Yeah. Uh, Alberta, final answer. Yeah, it's Alberta. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Oh, Conferring. Uh, this is uh, 11. 11? Um, 11, final answer. 11 is correct. In 1939, after being denied permission to perform at Washington's Constitution Hall for racial reasons, Marian Anderson sang at a special concert at the Lincoln Memorial following action from the wife of what 32nd president? Conferring. This is FDR, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, FDR, final answer. Well, you got another one, right, Landon? Very well done, 260 points. Okay, Washington Latin, you're up for the picture perfect round. Here's the first clue. It was reported that John Brown paused to kiss a baby while being led to execution for leading a raid on the federal arsenal at what West Virginia Harper's town? Ferry. Yeah, it'd be Harper's Ferry. Harper's Ferry, you're right. If this follows the pattern of a Fibonacci sequence, what should the next number be? Uh, is it 13? I oh. think, wait, isn't that the first five digits of pi though? Yeah, 1415. Oh yeah, uh, two, so- Would it be two no, 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 then? it's not, it's not. Yeah, but it, it's a Fibonacci sequence. Oh, um. Need an oh, answer, guys. Work. All right, uh, 13, final answer, 13. One higher, it's 14. This sober looking woman is Lemonade Lucy, the prohibitionist wife of what 19th president? Uh, is it Harding? I don't remember the. Um, I don't remember. Dylan, do you have any clue? No. All right. And Sounds right. Tracy Harding? Final answer Harding? Yeah, it was Rutherford B. Hayes. Washington Latin, you still did a really nice job. 180 points. Hey, Northwest, how about a little picture perfect round, huh? Here's your first clue. During the 13th century, several leopards were kept in the Tower of London by what English king forced to accept the Magna Carta in 1215? Conferring, that would be King John. Yes? You guys the answer is King John. Solve for X. X equals, uh, sorry, conferring X equals one. Yes, it does. Robert Todd Lincoln, the son of Abraham Lincoln, was appointed Secretary of War by what man who, in 1881, would become the second U.S. president to be assassinated? Uh, um, conferring, that would be Garfield. You guys concur? Yes. Yeah. All right, final answer, Garfield. Yeah, Garfield is right. Nice Northwest, 220 points. Two rounds behind us, two rounds to go. We've got halftime next. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know Pony Express riders had to weigh under 125 pounds and many were teenagers? The youngest was 11-year-old Bronco Charlie Miller. Riders typically covered 75 miles a day, stopping to change horses every 15 miles. 
When the Pony Express carried Lincoln's inaugural address to California, it took seven days, 17 hours. The cost of sending a letter by Pony Express was $5, or about $140 today. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. We've reached halftime in the game here on It's Academic. Time to meet the team behind the team. Hey, Jeff, tell us who's with you. Uh, thank you, Hillary. I would like to introduce Lawrence Lee, who is our alternate and a junior, and uh, our wonderful coach, Miss Chambers, and uh, our special guest today, Dr. Dannon, who is the assistant upper school director. Well, it's awesome to have all of you guys. And hey, Coach Chambers, what advice do you have to this team going into uh, the second half? Wow, guys, you're doing well. Uh, continue to confer with each other and to listen to each other and go Bears. Let's do it. All righty. Thank you, Ms. Chambers and Ms. Dannon and Lawrence. Great to have you all there. Okay, guys, now that we've met everybody else, how about we dive into this packet round, huh? Questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. And if you get all of the questions right, I know you know this, there's a 25 point bonus. It's always nice to get. Here's the first question. Most colleges are open every year, but what political college is in session only once every four years to select the president? Referring electoral college, right? Electoral yep. college. Electoral college, final answer. You got another one right. As a teenager, Sam Houston ran away from home to live with the Cherokees, who named him for what black bird that titles a poem by Poe? Uh, Raven? Raven. 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 Yeah. Raven. Raven, final answer. Both the Raven nevermore. Here's your science question. Silicon sodium carbon. All organic compounds have which of these elements in common? Carbon. Carbon, yeah. yeah. Carbon, final answer. Carbon it is. Teenage pilot Zara Rutherford got off to a fast start when she became the youngest woman to fly around the world solo before finally touching down in what country where Brussels is capital? Confirming Belgium, right? Yep. Belgium, final answer. It's the capital of Belgium. John Thornton is the principal human character in what Jack London novel about a sled dog named Buck? Confirming Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild, final answer. It is. Here's your math question. Which of these numbers is not a perfect square? Conferring uh, 3.60. Yep, yeah, yeah. the first one. Uh, first one, final answer. Yes, it is. By sailing to Labrador, what Italian-born 15th century explorer established England's claims to North American territory? Conferring Cabot, right? Yep. Yes. Cabot, final answer. Very nicely done, Landon. You've gotten every answer, right? 425 points with that 25-point bonus. Way to go. Time for another halftime introduction. Cooper, who's with you? Um, we have our coach today, uh, Miss Cole, with us. Um, Ms. Cole, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi. Uh, this is my first year doing quiz bowl, so it's really exciting to kind of learn what this is all about. <laughs> Hi, Lillian. Hi. Good to see you. Be attending it's academic too, right? <laughs> so what's it like coaching the team? Um, pretty much it. Uh, Dylan and Cooper have been really good uh, at kind of leading the way, and I've just been observing for the most part this year. All right. Well, we're very happy to have you and so happy to have Lillian. We, we can't wait to... Um, to have her as a contestant in about, what, I don't know, 16 years, 14 years. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, Lily. And now we get to jump into the packet round, guys. Here's your first question. In 2017, China blocked from social media sites what fictional honey-loving bear created by A.A. A. Milne? Winnie the Pooh. It was Winnie the Pooh. A series of U.S. military interventions in Central America in the early 20th century were known by a name referring to what long yellow tropical fruit? Banana. Uh, banana. Banana's it. Here's your science question. Manganese deuterium cobalt 60. Which of these, a radioactive isotope, has been used to treat cancer by irradiation? Um, I'm thinking deuterium, but... No, I'm pretty sure it's manganese. What do you say, Dylan? Cobalt's the only isotope. 
Oh, that's my yeah, 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 yeah. All right, it's Cobalt 60, final answer, Cobalt 60. Dylan, you saved the day. It's Cobalt right. 60. If Jose de San Martin was a 19th century revolutionary who fought against Spain in Argentina and what neighboring country whose capital is Santiago? Uh, Chile. Uh, Chile. Chile. Yes, it's Chile. A scientist named George Challenger was the subject of three novels by what British writer who also challenged readers with stories about Sherlock Holmes? Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle. Yep, yes. here's your math question. Taking all roots to be positive, what is the value of this expression giving your answer as an integer? Zero? Uh, uh, would it be zero? Yeah, because square root zero? 25 is five. Yeah, it would be zero. It right. is zero, nice. Kit Carson usually guided the expeditions of what other explorer who in 1856 became the first Republican presidential nominee? Um, obviously, a little lacking mm -hmm. on our presidential mm -hmm. knowledge. That's all right. The answer is John Fremont. Washington Latin, good job. You've got 300 points. All right, Northwest. There's a person who helps you with all of this. So why don't you introduce us to the coach? Uh, this is Mr. Belezak, our AP World teacher. And I think we can all agree our favorite teacher ever. Uh, yes. Wow, well, that's We're very that's excited to have praise. him as our coach today. Beautiful, Mr. Belezak. That's pretty nice. That must have you feeling pretty pumped up. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> wonderful kids. It's really a privilege to work with them. They're an awesome group. And what advice do you have for them going into this second half? You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up, keep cooperating, and, and head, just have fun, have fun. And that's what we like, have fun. Thanks so much, Coach Belezak, great to have you. Now that we've met your coach, how about the packet round? Here's the first question, Northwest. The great Karoo is not a person, but a South African example of what sort of dry, sandy region like the Sahara? Inferring a desert? Yes. I'll answer a desert. It's desert. In 2018, Elon Musk's cherry red Tesla Roadster was the payload the Falcon Heavy rocket carried on its flight to what red planet forth from the sun? Conferring Mars, final yep. answer, Mars. Final answer is right. Here's your science question. Patella, metatarsal, cochlea. Which of these words identifies the part of the inner ear resembling a coiled shell that houses sound analyzing cells? Conferring cochlea. Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, cochlea. Cochlea, it is. Some babies were named Vaxinova in 1768 after the smallpox vaccine was first tested in Russia with support from what Empress called the Great. Conferring Catherine? Yeah. Catherine the second, yeah. Final answer, Catherine the Great. You're right, and it was the second. Gigantic birds called rocks appear in the seven voyages of what legendary sailor, a hero of the Arabian Nights stories? Conferring, I'm not sure of this one. Anika, do you have any, uh, any possible leads? I'm not the sure. Answer. I, um, final answer, David. Sinbad. Sinbad the sailor. Here's your math question. What is the value of X in this proportion? Conferring six. Yeah. Yep. Final answer, six. It is six. Only 25 when he became the naval hero of the Tripolitan War. What American is remembered for his toast? Our country, right or wrong? Conferring, um, answer, please, in three. General George two. Custer. The answer is Stephen Decatur. Northwest, you did a nice job, 320 points. It's fun, it's fast. The lightning round is coming at you next. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Students are getting involved in their communities in many important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. So this is Drew Pye. He's a senior at Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland. 
And this is Matthew Casertano. He's also a senior at Montgomery Blair High School. Uh, and we're the co-founders of an organization called Teens Helping Seniors. And we founded this organization during the COVID pandemic to provide uh, essential grocery, uh, medication, and other necessity delivery to seniors and other vulnerable populations during the pandemic with the goal of alleviating some of the strain of, of these difficult times. And so the thing, the cool thing about our organization is that it's entirely teen run. All the leadership positions are teenagers. Most of our volunteers are teenagers, although we do have some young adults as well. And so we've really shown the ability to reach across generations. The, the youngest generations of society helping the oldest generations is a beautiful thing. And, and so we're very, very proud of that aspect of our organization. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. It's what you've been waiting for. It's the lightning round. In this round, you've got 45 seconds to answer as many as 10 questions. They're worth 20 points up or down, but nothing off if you pass. Okay, Landon, here we go. All your answers must have exactly four syllables. That's four syllables in three, two, one. This is the capital of Utah. Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Yes, this U.S. Cabinet Department is concerned with crops and food. Agriculture. Yes, this C-initialed animal is the largest rodent. Capybara. Yeah, she was the Greek goddess of love and beauty. Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Yes, this is a triangle with two equal sides. Isosceles. Isosceles. Yes, Baku is capital of this Azerbaijan. Country. Yes, this is the southernmost New England state. Pennsylvania. No, Connecticut. This is the zodiac sign of the water bearer. Pass. Pass. Aquarius. This is the last name of Tolstoy's title character, Anna. Uh, Karen. Yes, this puppet's nose grew when he told a lie. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Yeah, it's Pinocchio. Uh, Landon, you got through all of the questions, woo, and a fabulous score to end with, 565 points, really good job. Washington Latin, it's the round you've been waiting for. It is the lightning round, here we go. All answers must have exactly four syllables, four syllables in three, two, one. This city is home to the NFL Bengals. Uh, Cincinnati. Yes, this chemical element has the symbol K. Tapium? Yes, he was the second Roman emperor. Uh, Augustus. Tiberius. Barbados and Puerto Rico are islands in this sea. Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah, this is the subject of our 18th constitutional amendment. Uh, voting rights. Prohibition. A constellation is named for this daughter of Cassiopeia. Pass. Uh, pass. Andromeda. The Parthenon is located on this Athenian hill. The acropolis. Yes, this is the acropolis. scientific okay. name for a red blood cell. Um, hemoglobin. Erythrocyte. He was our thirty-fourth. Oh, there's the buzzer. He was our thirty-fourth president, and I know you know this one, guys. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Uh, good job, Washington Latin. Three hundred twenty points. All right, how about another lightning round, this time with Northwest High School? Ready, guys? Yeah, all right. All answers must have exactly four syllables. Four syllables in three, two, one. This city is the capital of California. Sacramento. Sacramento. Yes, this is the religious movement started by Martin Luther. Civil rights. No reformation. No, oh, no, uh, Protestantism. He's the Calvinism, current emperor Calvinism. of Japan. Uh, Tokugawa. Naruhito. This is the D in the formula circumference equals pi times D. Diameter. Diameter. Yes, this disease is caused by the Anopheles mosquito. Um, Lyme? No. Um, Malaria? Um, yes, Malaria. she was the tragic wife of Shakespeare's Othello. Pass. Desdemona. Clytemnestra was the wife of this legendary Creek king. Pass. Agamemnon. This is the U.S. Sooner State. Oklahoma. Yes, ancient Pompeii was destroyed when this volcano Vesuvius. erupted. Vesuvius. Yeah, Vesuvius is the answer. That's the buzzer. And Northwest, you did such a nice job. 380 points. The questions are over. The scores are next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. 
I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. The scores are now official, and we begin with Washington Latin Public Charter from the district, Cooper, Dillon, and Miles, 320 points. From Northwest High School in Germantown, Gray, Anika, and Jonah, 380 points. And coming back for the playoffs, Landon School from Bethesda, Jeff, George, and Thomas blowing it up with 565 points. Great game, everybody. Please make sure you join us next week when we have Fauquier, St. Albans, and Stonebridge. And please, please, please follow us on social media, especially our YouTube channel where you can subscribe. I'm Hillary Howard. Thanks for sharing part of your Saturday with us. See you next time. Bye. I'm David Rubenstein reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference.